Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. This is the first episode of a new video series called Many of a Kind, in which I show several examples of a certain type of vehicle by one car make or several car makes. It's not going to be a regular thing, just whenever I find the time to do a video and whenever I feel I have the vehicles I want for that particular episode. So in this one, the topic is limousines. We start with a matchbox, the Lincoln Town Car. So it's kind of a mixture of metal and plastic on this one. So this chrome piece here in the middle is plastic and same as uh, this chrome piece that goes around the bottom there. The center piece in black is metal. So it says, I think 176 scale, if I can read it correctly. And it's got suspension. So this uh, was introduced, this is the first release in white in 1989. It was produced until 1991. And this uh, is from my kind of, I would say childhood collection, but it's I, more like a teenager collection. So it's got the red taillights that are part of the red interior. It's kind of a nice solution. It's got that TV, TV antenna molded into the trunk. So it's a, it's a nice casting. It's got a sunroof. I like it. It's the only example I've got of this one. Then we get to the limousine. That's what it's called. If you can read it on this very shiny chrome base. So this is a Matchbox original. This black one was the first release in 2002. So you can see the headlights and the grille and the taillights and the license plate are part of that chrome base. It's got the anniversary sticker on there, 2002, and they were wrongly celebrating the 50th anniversary of Matchbox. It's got a big hole in the roof, well it's kind of a panoramic roof that is slide, that they slide open. Um, the front, the driver's seat and the passenger's seat in the front are not there, it's blacked out like uh, the complete window piece and you just see the seats in the back, there's just an interior in the back and not in the front. So, got some detail to it, as you can see here. I also have a window box one. This is the 2003 release. Must have been opened by the previous owner because it's kind of taped up. So here we got a silver one with a black base. So we get the uh, the black parts front and back, white interior, and this one actually has a window piece that is kind of clear, so apparently there are seats in the front, so I did not know that until now. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, it's got a steering wheel, seems like, well not really, just a little disc there. Anyways, it's, uh, the fun is in the back, that's for sure. It says VIP shuttle. And then here I got a version from the 2016 City 5 pack. This kind of metallic metal flake burgundy. It's got the disc wheels on it, which is a variation. Matchbox Lux on the side. And then, I don't know what that says, car 22 probably. So, grey base and black interior. Again, the uh, front seats are vis visible. Then, still Matchbox. In 2015 we got this black Cadillac 1, which was a new casting then. So 
So it kind of represents the presiden presidential limousine for the United States. It says 164, but that will probably not be correct. It's pretty big for a matchbox casting, though. So the the front piece here is plastic, part of the base, and then the back piece also. It's nicely tampoed. Not sure what it says on the license plate. One oh, dreaming big, yeah, that's it. It's got the American flag on there, obviously. And the front nicely detailed. So no interior on this one because you get a lot of metal on it because it's so long. It really uh, filled up that blister as you uh, would have seen. You see. It's a, it's a pretty wide blister, kind of almost as wide as the card. So, yeah, get quite a lot of metal on this one. And then in 2016, we got the white version, pearl white with a white base. The plastic, the white plastic, does look a bit strange. They might have done a better job on that. Could have done a bit a better job, I mean. Still says dreaming big on it. Yeah. So I think we're going to see this one again this year in um, in the Cadillac series. I think it will be in black. It might be a grey one somewhere too, and if not, I'd like to see one. Then we get to Hot Wheels, so this is called Limousine, but uh, not written in the typical way. It's a Larry Wood casting. So this is the first release in white from 1991, also from my teenager collection. So we get the chrome base and uh, the front clip here and then the back here and the side is part of the chrome base. Classic limo service, VJ. A little bit of smoked windows, white walls on it. Made in Malaysia. Also got the sliding roof open. You can see the interior. Kind of seen it through the, through the windows on the side, but it smoked. And I've got a few carded ones too. Now, strangely enough, uh, as you know, Hot Wheels always point to the right. But if you flip them, usually you can read the base, but this one is upside down. It's kind of weird. This is from the Biff Bam Boom series. And then the American long card. This is from 1997. A nice blue color the deco is a little bit goofy still has the chrome but uh, no more white walls got the more uh, that's got the five spokes on it then in 1998 we got this metal flake black one with the gold base and the gold rims it says limousine on the side so that's actually how it's written And then 2001, we got this green one with the. This is with the saw blade wheel variation. Turbo Taxi series. Limousine. So it's got wheels exclusive. Series or what does that say? Service, sorry. Wheels exclusive service, kind of a strange name. Taxi again with the gold wheels and base, nice metal flake green color. 2003 version, metal flake blue, 
Hot Wheels Island Tours or Island Tours. The face of a woman on the door, front door. Same on the other side. It's kind of a um, black chrome or dark chrome. It's not that shiny. I like the look of that. And a dull chrome. And then in 2009, this pearl white version in a police deco, Chandler Police. Now, strangely enough, this is a Target exclusive, and I found this in Belgium at a um, old timer show. So, kind of weird how that got there, but, anyways, it's cool to have it. It's not meant, you know, it's second hand, but. Uh, it's okay, Arizona, 1912, Police Department, Chandler, so this is a licensed deco. Yeah, cool. Then we get to the kind of bigger size ones. So they're like what they would look like in true 164 scale, I guess, although some of these are quite bigger than that. This is a Road Champs. From the deluxe series um, a lot of interesting vehicles here on the back that uh, could appear in a many of a kind video like uh, American school buses campers fire trucks or fire engines tow trucks step vans box trucks you know all possible topics for uh, one of these many of a kind videos that came off really easy. So this is a metal on metal Mercedes limousine 1990 Road Champs Inc. I think it says 1994 on the card. I kind of pulled that too quickly. See 1994 Road Champs. Um, well you'd think it has some suspension but I think I'm just bending the axles. So, pretty much all metal, it's got lensed headlights and lensed taillights and these are actually red so that's kind of a nice detail. So these must be separate inserts. These front ones could be part of the uh, window piece but these back ones definitely not. So it's got four opening doors. Airport limousine says on the side. And it's got the roof, um, the sunroof, sorry, sunroof that slides open. So let's take a peek inside. A lot of room in between there, uh, in between there. Seems like it has uh, probably a TV between the these two seats here, behind the driver. Oh, this one, yeah, kind of hard to shut. Yeah, pretty cool, very heavy piece. Then we got this Tomica one, got like Escalade, 179 scale. Did the road champ sage scale on it? No, it didn't. I guess metal made in China, it said. So, a lot of stuff on this box that I can't read. This is a really long limousine. So, we got a plastic base. 2012 date on it, 179 scale. No suspension, so it's got plastic base, a metal body, lens headlights, some detail there painted in the front, window surroundings are painted on the side. Actually, there's only see through windows in the front here, these three ones, and in the back, it's all solid metal. 
wrap around tail lights, third brake light on top, and the Cadillac logo with the Escalade name. And these back doors, solid doors, open up. So it'll be kind of hard to see in there, but you know, I don't think there's much of an interior because of these uh, doors, the mechanism that is kind of inside of there. That's why they blacked out this and uh, just made it solid metal. And there's probably an interior in here, yeah. Some benches to the side. Not much interior. Mostly the exterior that counts. It's a pretty heavy piece. Very long too. And then I got these Mesta ones from the Players series. Luxury diecast collection featuring a player's collectible playing card, blings wheels, it says 164 scale but we all know that's not really accurate, 2005 Chrysler 300C Hemi limousine. So let's cut this one open. go let's see if we can get that card out too nothing really special here got a drawing of the vehicle so we got a plastic base scale 164 it actually says on the base made in China. Got some exhaust details, some drivetrain detail. Rubber tires. So here we get the blings wheels. It says players on the side with some uh, cards here on the window. So pretty much full deco on the side. Also has the sunroof. Maybe more like a moonroof on this one. Nicely detailed front end. I think the grill piece is a separate piece. Interior wise, we got some details there. Chrome on the steering wheel and on the center console. Probably a big screen there. Uh, blacked out windows in the back, so there's no interior there. Exhausts are part of the base, but they do get some silver paint on them. Again, it's got a nice way to it. And I've also got this Ford Excursion limousine from that same uh, player series. Again, we got some card art. So again, it says 164 scale. Got the, these one running boards here on the side. Metal flake, dark gray. Again, rubber tires, of course, and the blings wheels. Front clip seems to be a separate part in the back got these double doors open to left and right and no chrome on this interior cool and then we end with Majorette. So this one, 
is also from my uh, teenager collection or maybe I was a little bit younger just called limousine this is actually a Cadillac Fleetwood stretch limousine this was the first release sold from 1987 till 1989 this uh, kind of a gray color made in France metal on metal 158 scale it says no suspension on these limousines so it's got four opening doors the ones in the back open by themselves the front ones are kind of have a spring got the TV antenna because there's a TV between the back seats there very plush interior also has the sunroof that uh, slides open the lens headlights part of the orange windows or yellowish and the back it's all metal Florida license plate the back and then club limo in the front cool and then got some other colors not in uh, as good as condition as this one from 1990 till 95 they were available in black and in white and in 95 only in blue which was no longer made in France but in uh, Thailand and then they also did a Mercedes limousine this has a plastic base limousine Mercedes it says on the base 158 scale so again four opening doors again the back ones pretty loose and then the front ones have the spring this one's got a chrome steering wheel and dashboard again with the sliding sunroof so the bumper is part of the base but the grill and the Mercedes star are a separate piece it seems and got some chrome on it that has rubbed off two antennas in the back one have broken off has broken off unfortunately but again these are kind of I buy these at swap meets for one euro whenever I can uh, find them so this was a uh, 1991 till 1995 in silver no suspension on this one either and then same with this one same years it was sold also in blue so the lens the lights front and back on these part of the window piece and then this one was a blister pool I opened it up and uh, I did a video on uh, on these two a long time ago you can find it in uh, my majorette playlist so this one I pulled from the blister this one no longer has a chrome grill it has a blue lights front and back from the blue window piece got the both of it. antennas of course because this is a mint and this one seems to have a gray dashboard and steering wheel and a white interior for the rest but uh, I did not find any info on what, what year this was released in this color. Um, and I also got this one bruised and battered. Kind of a purple color with some guitars on it and some you know music related stuff. So yeah, it makes for a nice graveyard of limousines. So that's it for this video. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to do something here. Kind of compare these two Mercedes ones. Because um, they seem kind of similar, but I think this um, Road Champs is based on a Mercedes S Class, while this one is based on the W124, kind of the E Class, so you wish. But they have similar, um, similar things. Uh, this one 
they both were, were released well this says 1990 and the Mercedes casting was first released in 1991 so I don't know if they were uh, major had looked at road champs or the other way around and uh, yeah could have been copyrighted in 1990 and released in 91 not sure about that but kind of were kind of released at the same time much more metal on the road champs definitely this has a plastic base but have the same opening features the sunroof and the four doors and they have the lens lights front and back except that the road champs has the red tail lights where these on the major red are just part of the window piece so they have about the same length which uh, well the S class a normal size uh, the, the regular vehicle would be bigger of course but you know in the limousine they can add uh, how much uh, a lot of uh, extra length at their will how much they want to add these coach building companies so that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.